Hi, I'm Steve Sherman, creator of Power of Process. In this segment, I want to talk about my do's and don'ts as they relate to the image circle that a given lens throws or projects onto uh, the piece of film and how it relates to the tilts and swings that we had just covered in a previous segment. So I want to try to set up a little um, uh, demonstration as to uh, exactly what I mean by the cone of light, the image circle that the lens projects. So what I have here is actually an exact tracing of a 5 by 7 inch piece of film. Now, naturally, I, I hope that everyone knows that with a view camera, the image is not only reversed, but it's also upside down on the ground glass. So essentially, what I'm seeing on the bottom of the ground glass is the actual sky in the photograph. It's upside down. That's one of the true treasures of a large format camera. So anyway, now I'm, I've got this funnel with a light taped um, into the uh, smaller end of the funnel. So essentially what you see here is a cone of light that the lens would project. And that center of that um, cone of light is what covers the film. The more expensive the piece of glass, the bigger the image circle. The less expensive a piece of glass, the smaller the image circle. It's a simple function of, of dollars and cents. But let's say we have a, a, an adequate lens that covers all four corners of the film and you take the film, I'm sorry, you take the lens and you tip it so you, that you can enhance your near-far um, focus. Well, what happens in order to tip that lens, you do this. Well, what happens to the sky? You see where it vignettes and you lose coverage. Now, this happens even if you were to approach it very close like that. You're going to begin to lose transmission of, of light. But if you leave the lens fixed like this and you take the back and rock it backwards, you're not forsaking any of the image circle. You're actually technically, in, in, a, in millimeter sense, you're actually enhancing the image circle because the back is no longer quite as high as it once was. I hope that makes sense. Uh, but I think this is a very telltale uh, illustration as to why you don't want to tip the lens to enhance um, near-far focus. You want to tip the back. And uh, on the camera, I'll show you how you can get around uh, this kind of uh, arrangement, with, even if you have buildings in the uh, photograph. So we just finished up with a discussion and a demonstration on the image circle and how it relates to covering the actual piece of film. Now we're going to learn about actually altering the plane of focus with a view camera and the compromises that usually always happen um, when using a view camera.